for about eight nine years i was doing that nine to five mm-hmm. job uh, then simran you know i met her in between you know four mm-hmm. or five years into my job and we were in a trip to uh, new zealand and i we met this guy mm-hmm. who was you know like 60 70 plus and he mm-hmm. was like you know i the biggest regret that he had is that he did not quit his job earlier and he was an architect and he said that uh, and he said that you know it, and i was like shit yeah and i was 26 at that time so i was 27 maybe mm. so i was like wow you know, like a person who is 70 plus is saying that he made more money and it was more fulfilling in the last mm. 10 years after retirement when he was actually doing wow. things that he loved versus, you know, when he was building for someone else. And I was like, you know, we need to do that. Quitting nine to five job and going completely all in into mortgages and literally within one year going from making zero to over half a million is the guy who is sitting with us today. So we're going to find out how the heck he did this thing. (laughs) We're going to find out, you know, what made him to get there. And, you know, if you're someone who wants to learn or debating whether to quit the job or, you know, to, to get into mortgages or do the sales or not, or if you can do it, there's so many questions like that, right? I, I've been getting so many of them. So this guy can answer you. So without any due, let me welcome you to brother welcome for my channel i think Thank first you. time yes first i never time. interviewed you so far absolutely <laughs> i think we met like what two years ago mm, yeah almost yeah. two years ago and before that i've been following you guys for like one year uh, one year or eight months like since you guys start came to Canada. yeah i think i think last time we met uh, you were like i was following you and i was like i was yeah, following, following you, you but you're not talking <laughs> right so yeah because you you had like a lot of videos about uh, living expenses yeah. lifestyle uh, traveling, which me and my wife, we love traveling. And uh, my wife always talks about uh, her curly hairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so many things like we used to follow. And, and, you know, all of a sudden, I see you getting into mortgages yes. and real estate. And you completely now focus on the real estate yeah. and mortgages. So, for people who don't know you, you know, uh, who are you? Where did you, you know, why did you come to Canada and uh, how did you get into this uh, trap? <laughs> <laughs> An abyss, right? <laughs> this go deeper. Yeah. Uh, you know, going back, I come from a service class background. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad was into insurance. My mm-hmm. mom is a teacher. Okay. Um, so I have a few you know family who is into business but i didn't quite understand uh, my mindset was that uh, if people are earning money and if it's a lot of money uh, mm-hmm. you know this must be doing something, something wrong <laughs> yeah so uh, that was the mindset that i came yep. from uh, i was very very discovers because when you don't have anything you don't have anything to lose yep. but when you have good education and when you have a middle class you know like uh, income uh, steady income not too much now i know it was not too much but you know that's where uh, you know i was very hesitant in taking mm. risks and uh, for almost nine years i worked a nine to five job which i lied to myself that i loved um, i was good at it but mm-hmm. i did not love it uh, i would not do it for free i always say that you know you mm. should do things that you can do for free uh, and i was not you know willing to do that for free so and what do you mean by that do that for free i i heard <coughs> you saying that multiple times can so I'm, I'm not saying that you should not charge money for what you're doing. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is that if you are not paid for it, mm-hmm. you still want to do it because you love it. You love gotcha. it so much. Like Sachin Tendulkar would play cricket mm-hmm. whether or not he's paid you know, sponsorship money or not. Say Virat Kohli. Wow, that's, that's a great analysis. Warren Buffett would invest. Now he yeah. happens to be in the money, you know, business of money. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, he would invest even if he was making losses because that's what he loves, right? Yeah. So that's what I mean when I say that, you know, if you really want to make money, you need to find something that you can do for free. I love that. And then, you know, so I, I can relate to that so much. Yeah. I think, you know, uh, for me, real estate, I, fe- I felt that way. No matter how, how many networking events I go, how many books I read, I never felt like I'm doing some work. Hmm. I, I think that's a very good analogy. So if you want to get into something, first analyze yourself first. Absolutely. Yep. Go ahead. Sorry. So, uh, you know, so for about eight, nine years, I was doing that nine to five mm-hmm. job. Uh, then Simran, you know, I met her in between, you know, four mm-hmm. or five years into my job. And we were in a trip to uh, New Zealand. And I we met this guy mm-hmm. who was, you know, like 60, 70 plus, And he mm-hmm. was like, you know, I the biggest regret that he had is that he did not quit his job earlier. And he was an architect. And he said that. Uh, and he said that, you know, it, and I was like, shit. Yeah, I was 26 at that time. So I was 27 maybe. Mm-hmm. So I was like, 
foul. You know, like a person who is 70 plus is saying that he made more money and it was more fulfilling in the last mm. 10 years after retirement when he was actually doing things wow. that he loved versus, you know, when he was building for someone else. And I was like, you know, we need to do that. And I'm a marketeer uh, yeah. and, you know, Simran is an app developer and we were like, we can do something together. We were residing in Hong Kong. Okay. That's where we, you know, started our first business, mm-hmm. uh, kind of uh, the first failed business where we lost a lot of money. You know, most okay. people failed in their first businesses. That's okay. So you, you took that inspiration and you literally acted on it yes so you quit your job and in three months no not quit my job Shit, there no, you no, go. No, no, That's not quit. Take so. Simran quit her job in okay. three months um, so she was also earning and yeah. you know, I was like I'll fund this because I was making a lot of money yeah, right? yeah. So, so I was like I don't want to leave my job but I'll support okay. you I was working 20 hours and this was from deciding that we'll do a business to launching our business it was wow. less than four months <laughs> wow i love that do you regret getting into that business at that time oh, now absolutely not i think whatever we are doing right now a lot of people say no oh you built a half million dollar business or oh, you did this or oh, you probably it was that mm, the mistakes that we did in our first business the first thing that we did mm-hmm. uh, when i started my business was create my business card mm. i didn't need the business card at that I, time. At that time, yeah. right? And because I was just starting. I didn't even yeah. know. Like, we just had a company name. Yeah. And I wrote CEO on that. As chief of, uh, that that's Will stupid. <laughs> I, I'll tell you why. You know, yeah. I, I'm not saying this to anyone, right? I'm yeah. saying this to myself. That's yeah. stupid. To date, one and a half years, now I'm building a team, half a million dollars in business. I still don't have a business card. If you ask me for a business card, I don't have it. Yeah. I think the the shift in mindset, you know, that the, those learnings that we had, uh, I just feel now that I didn't need that, right? What yeah. I needed was going to the market, sell, you know, yeah. get some sponsorships, get some, you know, like get the business going and then worry about these things which are peripheral. So... You know, um, that is a very, very great point. And I'm the same guy. Mm-hmm. I don't have a business card. Actually, the other day, we, I went to a property. The tenant was asking me for a business card. I don't have it. Like <laughs> I said, I have some magnets. I'll give you the magnet, oh, please. <laughs> but I agree with you. But, you know, now, fast forward from there, you lost this business. You moved to India. And now you moved to Canada. But you are still working, right, in Canada too. Mm-hmm. So you came on a job. Yeah. Um, how did you get into mortgages? What made you to get into mortgages? So, um, so what happened was that when I came to Canada, it was middle of the pandemic. So mm-hmm. we came on 11th of March, 12th of March, WHO announced that it, it's a pandemic. And we were like, so we just, I don't know. Like what, 2019? 2020. 2020. So okay, we came so in 2020. New to country. Yeah, it's three years. Three yes. years. completed three years, yeah. right? So, so I, and I was like, uh, but I, you know, I'm 36. Yeah. So it's not like I did not have life experiences. Yeah, yeah. I have presented to really big CEOs. I presented yeah. to Indra Nui. Uh, you wow. know, so so you know, I had the acumen. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, I just did not have the guts. Gotcha. Right. So and I had failed once. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was uh, like, so okay. more fear. Yeah. So more fear. But I was I was okay leaving mm-hmm. it. But I was like, I need to settle down. Put my feet. You know, and mm-hmm. put my feet into what's my strength. Uh, gotcha. You know, which is uh, you know research. Mm-hmm. And I said that okay, let me just get a job. <laughs> but the jobs are not there at mm-hmm. that time, right? So three four months uh, there was no job. Then I got into Walmart uh, as a market researcher. I did that for about one one and a half years. I did really well because I was two levels lower than mm-hmm. what I was doing earlier. So. Gotcha. Was not very easy, but not very difficult not very for me. Difficult. The job, mm. and I excelled even if I was doing twenty percent of you know what I used to do. Gotcha. And um, uh, all this time, that's the reason why I followed you, right? Because mm. I was learning about real estate. Because I, one thing that I understood very early, even before coming to Canada, was mm. uh, the trick to making money. I'm calling trick, but the formula of making money is to do something in real estate. Mm. Um, I have a firm belief, and one of my mentors used to say that that you need to buy what no one else is buying. Mm. but you need to sell that everyone else is buying. Makes uh, sense. So, you know, like when I bought in Calgary, no one else was, was no buying. Else was buying no one was, you yeah. know, when you bought in Windsor, no one else was buying, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you are selling real estate. But when everyone is buying, you are selling that. Selling. Oh, gosh, right? yes. So I think that was my mindset that, you know, I need to get into real estate. Real estate was not, I didn't know what I would do. Yeah. But I was like, you know, I want to invest. You know, mm-hmm. I was not like I want to become a realtor or a mortgage agent. I was not, yeah. you know, that. But I had that audience, right? I was mm-hmm. doing YouTube. I was enjoying that. And that's where I thought it's just a natural progression for yeah. me to just, you know. So so how uh, how did you get into YouTube and how did that play a role for you in the mortgage side? Oh, that's okay. everything. I think whatever I did, mm-hmm. uh, all the clients that I have, I did, I I I just closed uh, my one seventieth deal. Wow! And 
the first one where a realtor gave me that lead first one so but usually the, the other 169 were coming from my youtube wow usually the realtors give the business Absolutely. to the mortgage people and I, and i i want to change that you know yeah. no disrespect to realtors or anything i think mortgage agents have to be the authority in the industry because they are talking money yeah and it has to be equal authority right so yeah. i was of the uh, and and everything happened because of youtube for me mm. and um i think the how we got into youtube was very funny right okay. so I, i wrote a book i am a better writer than i am a speaker Gosh. i've always been that right okay. so i wrote a book on immigration mm-hmm. it was like how we immigrated to canada how do you do that uh, i put steps. it on you know uh, like our channel it was yeah, called yeah, yeah, talking yeah, yeah. funny you know name i put it on uh, different facebook groups and those facebook groups kicked me out because they were like who's this guy who's posting oh. an immigration ebook and i was like i'll make my own uh, you know marketing Thanks. channel oh, uh, and that gotcha. that's where you know i was like okay let's do youtube right so so you know for someone who is like let's say aspiring to become an agent or who is already an agent what are some of the things that you would suggest to do on youtube or instagram or whatever the social media platforms that you're um, what's your some of your best advice i think you need to make it personal i think a lot of times uh, what i see is i am like you know i am a realtor mm-hmm. buy from me you you're selling a product yeah. you're not selling you know like you need to fly over your actual thing that you are doing if you are a realtor talk about personal finance talk about you know being yeah. a freedom agent talk about financial literacy uh, and that way when people come on your page they are like oh he's a realtor let they me just reach out yeah. to him never say that here's my number you know call yeah. me that does, never works right because there is no connectivity exactly so you need to put your personal story out there uh, yeah. the one thing that i always tell you know like uh, the agents that you know are in my team as well yeah. if you are in real estate you need to be able to first buy your own real estate yeah have that experience so that you know when a, you know the other person is buying yaar feel i you know oh, when you say yeah, that yaar exactly. feel i us wale ghar mein yeah. but if you have not had that feeling then it's very difficult to sell that yeah. you know to someone else so very very true it's really important to get your hands you know a little bit dirty with your own money first yeah and then do it and then social media and you docu- know document all that absolutely and do- document all that that's what we did right yeah. so and that's what you know that's where the switch happened that okay i actually researched a lot you mm-hmm. know and i we bought good properties and mm-hmm. i'm like you know i can do it for the other people yeah and uh, that's where the switch happened and i was like so i think for new agents or agents you know uh, who are wanting to get into the industry i think social media is really critical putting your own experience is really mm-hmm. critical and then being just the authority in the industry is very critical. so you know i i love to do the content but i don't know what to talk i or i i am not good on the camera this is a common yeah. misconceptions i hear what is your take on i that? think everyone has experiences like Uh, you know everyone who is watching an average age would be like 30 at mm-hmm. least i can't agree if anyone says to me i don't have any experience in life it's not possible powerful yeah it's not possible right so like it, there has to be an experience in life that yeah, you have had that you can talk about yeah and, you know so other people can learn from it and yeah. sometimes you feel that because we are into it sometimes you feel that ha ye to sabke sath hota hai yeah. no no hota. actually that's true so yeah. I, i think you just need to talk look at your life reflect upon that and then talk mm. about that and you know now how can we fit that together you know a lot of people struggle with even sometimes i struggle right you know um real estate content versus personal content like you know you do lot of traveling different things right real estate okay so content creation mm-hmm. is not about lifestyle not for me yeah it's about having a marketing driver for business marketing and yep. i think that youtube when i do real estate content mm-hmm. that drives my business directly but when i do personal content that drives emotional you know like attachment a, a connection a connection yeah and that's also very important this is yep. knowledge that's emotion yep. and when people come to me they ask me oh how is simran or t- yep. t- you know tell her that i love her here so yep. it's not when when we are called you know by clients <laughs> my for dinner the same thing <laughs> yeah exactly right so and when my when my clients you know call us for dinner they are calling the both of us yep. it, it's not about you know uh, me and i think that connection is really important and that f- you know like sense of family yeah. because you are putting a family into a house they also yeah. want to know that you know you also have a family and you know you yeah you value that exactly yeah. you value that and i think those values are also very important so yeah personal connect brings those values to life and you know what are some of the mistakes that you have done that uh, you know you wish you knew like you know the things that you know now but i 
you wish you knew in the beginning uh, the, when it comes to content content yeah um i actually uh, researched a lot when i was building content one thing that we actually did right uh, and a lot of people probably don't do that is mm. they want the best cameras they want the best equipment from okay. day one yeah not required right we actually made our first i think 150 videos mm-hmm. uh, on a phone which was not even an iphone it was a poco phone really yeah show me you know like 19000 no audio rupees. nothing audio we had okay. so one thing that i learned from a lot of you know different youtube channels mm-hmm. was that anything you do have a good audio okay. so the only thing that we invested in was good audio so we had a mic not very expensive like we yeah. had a the basic level of road mic yeah. uh, which was i think 5000 rupees okay. yeah uh, we bought it in india because we gotcha. started yeah. so it was 5000 rupees that was the only investment that we did we bought a tripod which was mm-hmm. like 100 rupees or something yeah. and we just started creating from our phone uh, with good audio mm. and that got us to i think 100000 Uh, followers. followers and after that we started buying you know uh, more equipment so can i s- confidently say that because you had that you built up that following mm. you built up that connection with your audience that helped you to make this kind of you know uh, money in the first year absolutely yeah i i, I completely agree and i completely get that because you know i was only like doing 6 months prior to getting my license mm. that so six months prior to got my license mm-hmm. and started doing the sales uh, i did, i had like very small following like you know probably less than 200 following mm-hmm. i still had four clients waited for me to do the sa- it is so simple show. right yeah. in real estate the thing is it's a high ticket item exactly so what happens is even if you have like 100 followers and one person buys from you you make you know upwards of 5000 yeah. dollars which is a typical salary yeah. right I think that's where when we get like in the beginning mm-hmm. Simran used to you know say me and I also used to feel that you know oh we only got 100 views on our first video we yeah. got like 30 views yeah. on the second video we got 100 views and she was like oh people are getting 100000 views and we are getting 100 views and I'm like just imagine if you're in a room full of people 100 people yeah. would that would you call that a success and she was like yeah and I was like then this is a success yeah. right because 100 people watched us like they yeah. took, out, took out time and i think uh, when you get into high ticket sales especially talking about being a mortgage agent yeah. realtor any high ticket sale item 100 followers is good, good. yeah 1000 followers is amazing 100000 yeah. your gold and yeah. that's what happened with us that's true i again you know this is the thing right like especially if you're actually listening to this and haven't even started getting into the sales or any any kind of services that you want to get into maybe start doing the content now right yeah like anything and even if even if even if you don't understand what you want to do yeah still you know put your story out and then you will find a path uh, to yeah. monetize it yeah uh, you know i think that's a cool thing with your story like you 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 are doing at that sp- when in 2020 when you came to canada you don't have any business at that point no No, Technically, no, no. like you're just doing because you're passionate about you know some videos or uh, writing, uh, immigration process, yeah. your travel journey and all. It, there is no product to it, and that's the perfect time to actually yeah. connect with more people because you know now you don't have a product, you don't have to sell anything. I I, I love that. Um, any last suggestions that you know to, that helped you to reach that this you know half a million. uh target or that kind of money like other than the content is there anything else that you have done um to make i think uh, that the one thing that i did not do intentionally mm-hmm. because i was just in the middle of it mm-hmm. um was uh, building a team that mm. my brokerage did for me got gotcha. you because i was building so much volume so i I'll, i'll tell you a small story so mm-hmm. what happened was when i started you know doing it in 3 months i had a lot of clients and i was new so i was trying to learn and i was trying to implement yeah. and it was massive <laughs> investment right i'm like shit right yeah. and uh, my broker said that you need uh, someone Help. supporting you on you know the documents and they gave me a person who is my go to person right now mm-hmm. for documentation and um, uh, he uh, had to go away for you know there was a family tra- tragedy yeah. and i was going to cuba because i was drained yeah. uh, and he, you know that's when uh, the broker also re- re- and that's when i took stock and i had 19 uh, files Ooh. that were uh like active 
at that time at yeah. one stage and this was my third month yeah. right so 19 <laughs> and i was like shit and my brokerage said that you need a team yeah i didn't know how to build a yeah. team whatever right so they built your, a team for yourself me. is new in the game After, and that's the reason why i went to half a million or you know whatever my gross commission was because i was leaning on my team and i allowed them to build it for me and i'm so thankful that i'm you know with the yeah. brokerage who saw that i had volume yeah. uh, and i had potential and uh, they said okay we'll build a team for you mm-hmm. and that team has now grown to three people now the fourth person just came mm-hmm. in and those four people are my backbone because yeah. the moment a client comes in i know that i have a system in place where everything will the Take drop will you know, the ball will never drop yeah right i am the only bottleneck there right so like the ball will never drop when the file comes in so yep. i think building a team leaning on other people not keeping the entire commission to yourself yep. and also you know sharing with with other people yep. so that you can scale i think that's one thing that helped me you love know. that i think you know that's very very key uh, because anyone to go from 100000 to 200000 to have like you know half a million is like not not a joke it's literally like doctors make less than yeah. that lawyers make make less than that so if you're aiming for that kind of things first once you start to become busier build your team hmm. i can ouch for that 1000 person yeah. i wish i started sooner on the team which again you know uh, you learn along the way yeah. and i have a solid team that you know the vincity team they're like crushing it like helping i can see that yeah um but without them like without you know they're out in the field and doing a lot of activities that i cannot do i cannot help more people right like you know i can only help so many people so building a team of course you got to make that decisions based on your volume as well yeah as well right so fantastic thank you brother anything else that you know you want to give a final advice for a newbies uh, who are just starting on the social media or sales i think uh, once you start on social media let me talk about social media yeah. because that's you know like who i yeah, am yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. right so i think uh, if you're starting on social media there's a lot of insecurities you need to mm. be good at one thing and you need to understand that you probably know it better than the other people Yep. person who is talking because you know if if aditya has bought so many properties he probably knows about real estate more than his clients and you just need to get rid of the insecurity of you know i don't look well i don't talk oh, well yeah. it, it doesn't matter i think it's the value that you bring to the table But your expertise i don't expertise. want to share my numbers exactly or, why not right yeah. like if i as a mortgage agent and i'm expecting you know them to share their pay stubs yeah I need to put my paste up on the table that's the reason why I created the video mm-hmm. because I want more people to understand you know that if I am asking for trust I trust you to you know uh, yeah. right so I am very transparent when it comes to that and I think uh, we just need to make sure that you know we are just getting shedding all the insecurities that oh what would CRA say what would yeah. this uh, that's bullshit right no They one is at your books anyway. yeah exactly, right <laughs> so like um I, i think i think we just need to be uh, shedding our insecurities and just doing it and just make sure that what you're talking about yeah. you at least know uh, you know in detail about that topic yeah. and then you know people will look through through that and i i think you know you and me are living proof for that like yeah. you know, because we were sharing those personal side like number side yes. our projects because of that we got you know so many people trust us in the process right yeah. like you know I, that's why like going from being employed to within one year yeah employing other people hmm. is like not easy but creating that kind of uh, relations is powerful hmm. so if you keep your insecurities the more you keep your insecurities stop you from doing the more you are away from your absolutely your desired lifestyle your so what is more important for you hmm. right you question that and act accordingly and just have a lifestyle like here uh when you are starting out like our expenses were less than $4000 there you go that's how i was able to leave because yeah. i knew that you know $4000 is you know not a lot and simran was earning my wife was earning so i was like we will be okay we yeah. probably not save for a bit but the life completely changed right yeah if you if you if you don't need a audi car or bmw just have a honda civic yeah. you know if you don't need a a, a million dollar home just uh, have a rental place for $1000 a day spend absolutely if if you know if that is what it takes to achieve the lifestyle you want right like you got to sacrifice absolutely you know i'm damn sure you have sacrificed so many things that to you know progress in your life the way you want yeah yeah 
Awesome, brother. So thank you. And I know we can talk a lot more. You know, <laughs> we, know. <laughs> we never stop talking about uh, social media because, you know, that changed our lifestyle. So, uh, but, you know, we'll definitely have you back again to talk about thank your you. second year journey. Third year journey. We will we'll do more often on this journey Absolutely. side because I, I, I strongly believe, you know, your, your story inspired thousands or actually now in uh, millions i see your some of your videos gets millions of views <laughs> thank you <laughs> so millions of people and you know keep inspiring brother thank and, you so uh, much thank you so hope you guys enjoyed this video and go make sure follow navjot on his channel uh, potato takis yeah <laughs> i love that name <laughs> every time as fun uh, you know lot of great content on mortgage you know tips his journey there is a lot more videos uh, that you can learn on and also if you need any help on the mortgages you know i cannot ask for especially if you're a first time home buyer this is the best guy you can talk to so with that signing off make sure you subscribe like comment and see you on the next video see you bye